Alright, boys, another video for old Digilicious over there on the Friendly Metal Detective Forum. Could I, would I suspect co-location using this detector with an ID that's fluctuating a point or two, not necessarily. The trace would probably be a better, would give me more accurate data on co-located targets. There's a square tab right there. I'm running a machine just like I ran it in that video. I'm gonna sweep it from similar, similar height. We'll let this car get by here. Okay. Speed five on that machine, okay? So what happens here? See the ID on the on the target? The ID is varying. Because that target right there, you see that's a square tab. So you know you're not you wouldn't dare see that and suggest a co-located target and see the dot down there by the way it might be hard to see in this camera see I've got a round dot down there but I've got fluctuating ID slightly fluctuating just like I had in the video I show a co-located target but there was a clad dime down there with a pool ring around one that's a square tab sitting solo so in the wild, so in the wild, I sweep that target and I see that pretty tight dot down there. I've got an ID up here that's fluctuating 3132. Well, I could probably surmise, running ultra-rate high conductors on this machine, there is not a high conductive coin co-located with that target. Unlike in my previous video that I had a 45 ID, 46, slight fluctuation, but I had an elongated trace, unlike I do on that square tab. So you can't go by a, a one or two point variation. You can't do that. See it there? Look at that. See it? I hope, hope you enjoyed there, Digilicious.